Welcome to the panels course here at OS Training. If you've been around our training at all, or if you've attended any of our live classes, you're familiar with this diagram. It's the Drupal site building workflow, planning, installation, content types, fields, and add content. Gets your content into your site. Views, design modules, themes, and people presents your content to the world. Today we're focusing in on design modules, but specifically on panels. Panels allows a site administrator to create customized layouts for multiple uses. At its core, it's a drag and drop content manager that lets you visually design a layout and place content within that layout. Panels can save you thousands of dollars. It's not for every site, however, and so if you're running a massively large Drupal site, the output from panels may not be exactly what you want, and so you'll probably be looking at customized template overrides. We taught you how to do that in our Drupal theming class. But if panels is right for you, well, you're going to love everything that it can do. With panels, you create contexts, which represent the objects being displayed. So you can create layouts with content blocks and views for anyone, pretty much anywhere on your site. Panels is a massively huge module. It's been around for a very long time. It was originally created by Merlin of Chaos, so you know it's got a rich background with Drupal. I would encourage you to read all of the documentation here at drupal.org slash project slash panels especially any known issues that are listed here. But just quickly, it's actively maintained. It's under active development. It's on almost 200,000 out of the 1 million Drupal websites. So you know it's a very well-used module. It's been downloaded 1.4 million times. And as of the recording of this video, it was last updated in February of 2014. You'll know that Panels is a very, very strong module for Drupal, especially once you get to know it. If you haven't taken our intermediate class or the views class, I strongly recommend you do those two courses before you try and tackle this one. Panels relies on a pretty good knowledge of Drupal, content types, and views. If you've done that, or if you just feel like you want to watch, great. All right, let's dive in.